Chapter 5 Castle Ogre. Finally, Puss reached a magnificent castle. It was owned by a fierce ogre, but that didn't stop Puss. This ogre happened to be one of the richest ogres in the country. All the land they had passed on the way was actually his. The ogre greeted Puss, licking his lips and invited the cat inside. Puss smiled. He was about to try his biggest trick. I've heard, he said to the ogre, that you can change yourself to any creature you want. Could you really turn into an elephant or a lion? See for yourself. It was true. In seconds, the ogre turned into a huge lion. Puss was terrified. After growling and roaring for a while, the ogre changed back to himself. That was the most frightening thing I've ever seen, cried Puss. But I've also been told, he went on, that you can change into a really, really small animal, such as a rat or a mouse. Well, of course, said the ogre, rather boastfully. Isn't that impossible? Just watch! <laughs> and he did. But as soon as Puss saw the tiny mouse scampering around, he leapt on him and gobbled him up. <laughs>